A Brooklyn building under renovation, but is the state trying to keep its future use secret? Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And welcome back, I'm Maurice Dubois. Almost everybody agrees that something needs to be done about the homeless problem in the city. But is the state trying to sneak a homeless shelter into one of Brooklyn community's buildings without telling residents? CBS 2's Brian Connie Bear has the exclusive story. This week, CBS 2 News got an exclusive look inside one of the buildings currently being cleaned out and rehabbed at the state-owned Brooklyn Developmental Center that shut down in December. Sources confirm the state is quietly planning to put hundreds of homeless housing units on the 35-acre campus at 888 Fountain Avenue in East New York. Contractors' vans have been on the site for weeks. Workers inside the buildings are redoing bathroom fixtures. Bedrooms are being cleaned up with space for two beds. Walls are being repaired, and a fresh coat of paint is being applied to make the abandoned buildings livable. While the work goes on behind that tall stone wall, most neighbors we spoke with say they had no idea that this could be a site to house the homeless, and that's causing some concern. It depends on what type of homeless people you're dealing with. Tina Lanier lives across the street and has a nine-year-old daughter. And is very close to my daughter. She plays out here and her safety. Definitely a concern. I'm just nervous about, you know, the crime going up in this area. Yeah, if it has a wall around it, it's fine. I mean, it's secure. Sources tell CBS2 the State Office of General Services used emergency contracts to get the work done as soon as possible. But that's not sitting well with Assemblyman Charles Barron, who represents East New York. And for the state not to inform us on this is unacceptable. The Office of General Services issued this statement, quote, the administration is exploring the possibility of using underutilized state facilities for various purposes, but no decision has been made about the Brooklyn Developmental Center campus. I don't believe that you start construction on something and then figure out what you're going to put there later. That makes zero sense to me, zero. We've also confirmed the total dollar amount for the emergency contracts at that site is $1.8 million. Assemblyman Barron says he was hoping for economic development that might provide local jobs or possibly some affordable housing on the campus. He plans to reveal more about all this at a news conference tomorrow. Maurice, Christine. Okay, Brian, thank you. Mm -hmm.